Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 50 pound crate is given a speed of 10 feet per second and t equals to 4 second. So let me write that the weight of the crate is 50 pounds and the speed is 10 feet per second after t equals to 4 seconds. And it is said that if the acceleration is constant, the crate is moving with a constant acceleration, determine the power that must be supplied to the motor when t equals to 2 seconds. So we have to find the power input to the motor after t equals to 2 seconds. Or when time is equal to 2 seconds, we have to find the power input that must be supplied to the motor. And the motor has an efficiency of 0.65. So let me write that the efficiency is 0 0.65. And it is said that neglect the mass of the pulley and the cable. So now we, we will apply the kinematics for the dependent motion. So let's say that this is my datum line. This is my datum line and the distance measured from the datum line for the crate is in terms of this SC, let's say this is the distance, the variable for measuring the position of the crate from this datum line. This is our datum. This is SC. And let's say that somewhere here we have a point P, let's say, which is pulled by the motor, right? So the uh, position of this point from this datum line is measured in terms of SP. So if we apply, if we write the equation for the length of the rope, so this is SC, I will write SC and from here to here, this length is, this length is SC minus SP. So this is SC minus SP. So we will write SC plus SC minus SP and this is equal to the length of the rope or we can say SC plus SC so that will become 2SC minus sp and this is equal to length of the rope or we can say that the sp if if i take the derivative of this whole equation with respect to time so we will get two velocity of crate minus velocity of that point p with which the rope is pulling and this will be equal to zero since the length of the rope is constant or uh, we can say that vp is equal to two vc of the crate so this is important equation and we can write that the power output will be equal to the force with which the motor is pulling multiplied by the velocity of that point P. So this will give us the power output. So now uh, we have to find the velocity of the crate when, when the time is equal to 2 seconds. So First of all, we have to find the acceleration with which the crate is moving, that constant acceleration. So we are given this data. So we can write that the V, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration in the upward direction. Let's say that the crate is accelerating in this direction. So this is our positive direction. This is our positive SC direction. This is our positive SP direction. So this is our AY into t. So the initial velocity is 0. It is given that it starts from rest and the final velocity of the crate, final velocity of the crate after 4 seconds is given that is 10 feet per second. This is, this is the velocity of the crate. So I will write 10 and the acceleration in the y direction and this is t. So t is 4 seconds. So a y is equal to 10 divided by 4 so this gives us 2.5 feet per second square so this is the acceleration with which the crate is moving and this acceleration is constant now if you want to find the velocity of the crate after 2 seconds let me write that after 2 seconds since we want to find the power uh, supplied to the motor after t equals to 2 seconds we have to find the velocity of the crate after 2 seconds so then Using the same equation, we can write that Vc equals to V0 plus Ayt and V0 is again 0, so Vc and Ay is known which is 2.5 multiplied by T 
and t is 2 seconds. So this gives us 5 feet per second. So after 2 seconds, the crate is moving with a velocity of 5 feet per second in the upward direction. Remember the acceleration is in the, in the upward direction, so the velocity will also be in the upward direction. So now we want to find Vp, then Vp using this equation, Vp will be equal to 2 times that Vc which is 5. So this is 10 feet per second. So after 2 seconds, the motor is pulling the rope with a velocity of 10 feet per second. Now we have to find that force F. So again we have to uh, apply the summation of forces in the upward direction like this. So this is, or we need to apply the summation of forces in the SC direction. Let's say this is our SC direction. So we have to be consistent with our coordinate system. So if I consider this pulley along with that uh, grade, so we will have that force F and that force F which is applied by the motor. So this is force F and this is force F and the weight of the crate is going to act vertically downward and that weight is 50. And it is moving with acceleration Ay. So if we apply the summation of forces along SC, so that is equal to, uh, this will be minus F since it is acting in the opposite direction of SC. So this is minus F minus F, so that is uh, minus 2f and this summation of forces along sc will be equal to the mass times ey so minus 2f and the weight is acting in the positive sc direction so i will write plus and that is 50 and the mass is 50 divided by g value which is 32.2 and we know ey ay is 2.5 feet per second square and since SC is acting in the positive direction of SC is in the downward direction and, and the acceleration is in the upward direction. So we, we have to write the minus sign with AY. So according to our coordinate system, this is minus 2.5 feet per second. So I have to multiply it with minus 2.5. So from this we can find the F value. If I bring this 50 to the other side of equation, so it will become negative as well. So we have the equation like this. This is so if we calculate this, so this gives me minus 53.881. So this is minus 53.881 and this is minus 2f. And now if we divide both sides of equation by minus, and then if I divide this 53.881 divided by two, so this will be the force or the tension in the row. So this is 53.881 divided by 2. So this gives us 26.94. So that force, the tension in the cable is 26.94 pounds. Now to find the power output, we will use this equation. So the power output is that force F, this force F which is 26.94 multiplied by the velocity of that point P with which the motor is pulling. So this is 10. So this will give us 269.4 pound feet per second. And now since the efficiency of the motor is given which is 0.65, this is given. So we have to apply the efficiency to find the power input. So the efficiency is 0 0.65 and this is always equal to power output divided by power input. And since we want to find the power input to the motor, so that power input will be power output divided by the efficiency. So we have to divide this by 0 0.65. So this is 269.4 divided by 0 0.65. 269.4 divided by 0 0.65 this is the power input this is 414 414.46 and this is in pound feet per second and if you want to find the power input in horsepower then we know that one horsepower is 550 pound 
feet per second. So we have to divide that answer by 550. So this answer divided by 550. So this gives us 0 0.754. So the power our input, let me write it here. The power input in horsepower is 0 0.754. 0 0.754 horsepower. So this capacity motor is required to, to lift the crate with a constant acceleration of 2.5 feet per second square. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.